Okay, our last section then is on concluding a working group. So all working groups should have a final report. They should document um, the outcome of their working group, whether or not they met their goals and objectives. You know, if we have a working group um, end because they decided that the scope of the working group or the timing of the working group is not right, it's just as important to document that rationale as it is to document a successful completion. Now, some working groups, we have some standing working groups, and we ask those working groups to complete a report every year so they can summarize their accomplishments for that year. So there are a lot of uh, working groups that have completed already. And so if you go to the completed working groups site on the public website, uh, you can see all the working groups there. Um, if you um, go to that, that C working groups file on the C root directory, that also has completed working groups. Um, and then also, if you go to the what we've done, that's going to be updated by year. That's going to show you have links to all the working groups that completed that year. So all the 2020 final reports are available right now on the working on, on that site. The um, suggested table of contents, um, it's good to include a short executive overview. Uh, the purpose of the working group should be included. Um, and if you need background information, feel free to add that section. Who were the members of the working group? What were the goals? What processes were used? And what were the outputs What did, or accomplishments? What did the working group produce? And then what are the conclusions or next steps? Um, again, there are lots of examples out there um, to see um, how different working groups have documented their uh, final reports. <laughs>